Excellence, Dr. Ediga Chagwalungwe, President of this country, has reduced the use of seats in schools in order for every citizen to access education without leaving anyone behind. The government has also increased the number of special institutions in order for teachers to acquire the best training. National Union of Public and Private Educators of Zambia, NUPES President Victor Muyumba, urged government to pay teachers who mark the 2018 examination their allowances. He has also reminded government to upgrade the teacher's salary scale according to their qualifications. I'm supposed to die with a duty station. If I was posted to a school, it doesn't follow, therefore, that I'm supposed to die with a penalty vacancy at that particular school. Now, the idea of making teachers go back to where they were posted first is not only inhuman, but it is also a way of harassing teachers. Some teachers also received different awards at the gathering. Sandra Banda for CBC News in Lusaka. We apologize for that earlier break in transmission, but we continue with our stories. Now, the Republican president, Dr. Edgar Lungu, says that his administration will not take advantage of the hunger situation as a result of climate change to gain cheap political mileage. President Lungu has called on farmers to change the approach of farming and not to depend on rains for farming rather than develop good farming practices that are resilient to effects of climate change. He says that smart climate agriculture is the way to go as a nation. Joseph Tamalibanda reports from Sinazongwe district of Southern Province. Zambia has not been spared from the global effects of climate change that includes seasonal droughts, floods and drying of major sources of water. These effects have resulted in the slowdown of the economic growth. Climate change negatively impacted on the agricultural sector with the reduced crop harvest for 2018-2019 farming season. However, according to Ministry of Transport and Communications Meteorological Department, indicated that Zambia will receive no more to above normal rainfall for 2019-2020 season. This has seen the Zambia National Farmers Union President Javis Zimba calling on farmers for early planting. This came to light during the launch of the harvest of winter maize in Sinazongwe district of southern province at a 600,000 hectares maize field of Zambif. That the planting this year, we are trying to run a campaign to try and get the uh, 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 farmers to plant early this time because we have a little bit of rice to some in, in, in February. But I think once we can just get up started, I think already some parts of the country last week we went rain, so it looks like in the end of we want to see if we can finish planting by mid, mid November. That's what we try to encourage the farmers so that at least we can take care of the non rice which is coming. And President Edgar Lungu, who officiated at the winter harvest, says despite the droughts, southern province has numerous potential for agriculture. That the tropic climate change is receiving on the global scene is an indication of its seriousness. We have all seen the devastating effects of climate change. However, it is dreadful that even with overwhelming evidence of the presence of climate change, we still have doubting Thomases who have been dismissing the phenomenon as a fallacy. We access to food for many of our Zambian households whose areas have poor use very difficult. It is very, very sad that the hunger situation in some parts of the country is being politicized. The administration will not take advantage of this situation to gain cheap political mileage. You need whatsoever to play politics about this serious natural phenomenon. The Agriculture Minister Michael Katambo urges farmers to increase production for 2019-2020 farming season. For directing me and the ministry staff to extend the farmers' deposits, the 1 million beneficiaries on the farmer input support program, those that are contributing the 400 quarter, which you are subsidizing, Your Excellency, that uh, the extension has been granted to them, our provincial agricultural coordinating officer already are aware and they've already engaged the beneficiaries that uh, the total will be up to this month. With this, Your Excellency, I encourage all the farmers 
to increase their production because they are guaranteed of an export market. Your Excellency, we will engage farmers to grow any maize, and their price is definitely guaranteed as you have directed us. Meanwhile, Zambif Managing Director says winter crops adds to the national food security. Things about Zambif products, PLC. When one talks about food security in Zambia, the name Zambi immediately springs to mind. When one talks of value addition in Zambia, the name Zambi automatically springs to mind. When one talks of reliable and sustainable farmers market in Zambia, the name Zambi automatically springs to mind. When one talks of sustainable employment, the name Zambi automatically springs to mind. When one talks of retail chain in Zambia, the name Zambi immediately springs to mind. From all of the above, of the above your written, you can see the massive, massive contribution. We as a company, one company, we're just one company, you can see, we make food security in Zambia. Your Excellency, I would be so bold as to say that Zambi is the very backbone of security in Zambia. And of that I'm very, very proud. Joseph Tamad Banda, CBC News, Sinazongwe District, Southern Province. Now, the Patriots for Economic Progress, PEP President Sean Temple, says that once his party received the 50,000 kwacha in damages from the Ministry of Justice on another judgment case against the Zambia police, where he will donate it to charity. We have details in this report. PEP President Sean Tembo stood on a constitutional right to continue protesting against 42 million fire tender scandal last year with some of his members. But on 7th March 2018, he was prevented to do so by the Zambia police. This compelled him to take illegal action and sued the police for violating their freedoms and liberties of association. And the High Court has ruled in favor of Pep President Sean Tembo. He is still a happy man since a day of judgment. As Patriots for Economic Progress, we are very happy with the High Court judgment that we recently received in the matter in which we had taken the Zambia Police Service to court for basically violating our constitutional rights uh, in a matter in which they stopped us from undertaking our protests against the $42 million fire tender scandal. The court determined that the action by the police to stop us from proceeding with our 13th fire tender protest was unconstitutional and basically a violation of the powers of the police. And subsequently, the, 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 the High Court decided to award us damages amounting to 50,000 kwacha. And Mr. Tembo has revealed how he will utilize the 50,000 kwacha damages on his case to charity. As soon as we receive these uh, damages from the Minister of Justice, we intend to donate the entire amount to charity because we believe that the money should be used to help the Zambian people. We are particularly happy with this judgment because we believe that it will serve as a lesson to the Zambia Police Service, especially... Meanwhile, the Zambian people from different walks of life still question about the 42 that the Ministry of Local Government procured, which they say were at a huge cost, comparing to a lot of huge debt accumulated in the recent past. Pamela Mlenga, CBC News, Lusaka. This is CBC News Tonight. We take our first set of commercials. We'll be right back with more story. Athens Sports Cafe and Grill. Our cafe offers a wide variety of food, drinks, and cocktails. Our Zambian dishes and grill are available all day, every day. Not to mention our screening of live games, plus our love for live music. So, don't be a stranger and come on down to Athens Sports Cafe and Grill. <laughs> 